Welcome to SpiritCore. I'm Karen. We hope this story, inspired by our one-act play, Galileo's Crime, can remind us that what we think we know for certain can sometimes change. And we'd love for you to share a time when life caused you to question a deeply held belief. Hashtag SpiritCore, together we grow. When we look up, the sun seems to move across the sky and it feels like we are standing still. But as Galileo proved, it's the earth that actually moves around the sun. His story led Covey to recall a time when she could suddenly see her world in a whole new way. Two months into my sophomore year at New York University, I spent three days in bed, physically in pain, mentally depressed and spiritually numb. NYU was my dream school, and here I was in my dorm, curled up in a ball, barely able to move. When I finally got up, I found myself taking the first steps on a path to discover my true self, a journey that continues to this day. I'm Covey, and here is my story of acceptance for hashtag Spirit Corps. I moved to the US from India when I was eight months old, and by the time I was five, I knew I wanted to be an actor. The problem was that growing up in America in the 70s and 80s, there were no actors on TV, film, and stage that looked like me. So naturally, I tried to blend in. My classmates were mostly white until high school, and then I went to a more diverse high school. And while there were Indian functions to participate in, Throughout my life, I really didn't want to be a part of all that. I yearned to be like everyone else. I wanted to be American. I didn't want to be brown. At the time, I was still green card holder, so I felt more Indian than American, even though I had grown up here. It was all very confusing. Through the confusion, the one thing I knew the one thing that brought me joy was that I wanted to be an actor and live and work in New York City. Thanks to the support of my parents, I was able to follow this dream. Which brings me back to those three days in bed. My breakdown ended in a moment, literally. I had always believed in the existence of God, but I had never felt or sought a connection to God. I was drowning in pain, and the words just came out. If there is something more than me, then please show me. And with this plea, the dam that I had been building my whole life to keep out that part of me that I felt wasn't normal and acceptable, that dam suddenly burst, and the whole of me finally started to flow together as one. It sounds bizarre, but it was in an instant that I woke up and I could clearly see the path before me and the path that I had been on. Virtually all my life until that moment, I had been pushing down a part of who I was because I thought to succeed, I had to blend in. And that mindset nearly broke me. Ironically, the key to my success was exactly what I had been suppressing. This was the path before me, a path that I've been on ever since. Being Indian, embracing my heritage has become one of the great joys of my life. Owning who I am instead of suppressing and repressing my identity opened up vast stores of energy and space for me to make a contribution and to live my dream. I am Indian and American, but above all else, a spiritual human being and my path is to grow and be of service using the gifts I have been given and have actually nurtured my whole life. We would love for you to tell us your story of acceptance and tag at Spirit Series USA, hashtag Spirit Core. Together, we grow. <laughs>